Next to face the sharks are Raphael and John, a pair of entrepreneurs who are keen to get the job done. We hope that the sharks will think our product is pretty robust. It's very technological, it's very innovative, and it deals with a sector that's been left behind for quite some time. We are ready to take on the sharks. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Hi Sharks, my name is Raphael. Hi Sharks, my name's John. Have you ever had any property maintenance issues? Aren't they frustrating? How do you find a good tradesperson? Do you search Google, maybe Yellow Pages, maybe even a Facebook recommendation? And then how many phone calls do you need to make and receive in order to find one or multiple quotes? And once you get your quote, are you satisfied with it? And didn't they say they were coming at 2 p.m.? Yeah, I'm sure it was 2 o'clock. Well, it's 4 o'clock now. <laughs> Finding tradespeople is hard, until now. Bricks and Agent allows consumers and businesses to be matched with qualified trades professionals to have small or big tasks done simply, quickly, easily and all in one place. Creating a job takes as little as two minutes and once a trade's been accepted for the job, you can watch them arrive on our Tradey Tracker map. And once the job's been completed, the tradie can post a photo to their profile so you can review it and give legitimate feedback. With more than 70 million property maintenance jobs in Australia alone every year at an estimated $140 billion, that's a lot of property maintenance frustration and a lot of money. We're here today to ask for $250,000 for 10% of our company, Bricks and Agent. So Sharks, get on board with us today and help take a big bite out of property maintenance frustrations in Australia and globally. Yay. <laughs> okay. You're looking for $250,000 for 10%, so you're valuing your company at a cool two and a half mil. Correct. Right. Why don't you demonstrate it for Love us? Love to. Who's the tradie? Me. Don't I okay. look like one? Oh, yeah. OK, got it. <laughs> OK, so I'm a tenant in a property, so we've taken a photo of the light fitting, as you can see here. So we'll post this job now. I then go and place a quote. I'm available to start today. So you can see I've received the quote there from Raphael. There's a nice photo of him from a couple of years ago. So I can see that my quote has now been accepted and what's happened now is it's put it in my task list to complete. We check in, we do the job, um, the timer starts and the timer finishes when we complete the job, upload pictures, videos, etc., and then basically move on to the next job. That's essentially the nuts and bolts of it. Nice interface, very simple. So you can post the, the, the job, you can accept the job, you can communicate, Correct. you can do the job, you can post photos, you can do payment, yep. you can sign off and you're all done. You're done. Yeah, pretty yeah. much it. Now the reason I'm saying that is because there's a lot of these things around, right? Yeah. So basically what these other platforms do is they put tradespeople in touch with people they that do. are looking for quotes. Yeah. What we've done is we've targeted the property manager market. You haven't gone for the mum or the dad that wants one job done. No. You've gone for the people who manage lots of properties correct. who are doing maintenance all the time. Is that a correct answer? Correct. Where does this entrepreneurial influence come from? Well, my family is probably the antithesis of business. Um, I'm the only one that really has ever done anything uh, of worth in the entrepreneurial <laughs> space. <laughs> And John, what about you? Uh, my father's been in business for as long as I've been alive yeah. and he's been very successful at it. What sort of business? Uh, he had a giftware business and is now in toys. Toys? Yes. So who is your dad? Manny Stool. Oh, oh. I know Manny. Oh, Manny. Yeah, we know Manny. He's the first ever Australian world entrepreneur. Yeah. Correct. How is it being the son of, well, a billionaire, um, it hasn't really changed life for me at all. Um, Self-made, I'm doing things myself. Uh, very good to have a father like that to go to business advice for, but this is something that's completely not in the field that he's got any experience in. So you've got to knock him off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hopefully yeah. one day. <laughs> one day, come on. A great success story. Tell me about how the business model works. OK, so basically it's a subscription model. And the reason we've done that is because we're targeting the business-to-business -business market, right. we believe the longevity of the customers will be there. So a property management office, we're looking at a fee of $150 a month. Yep. And for the trade services, it's $50 a month. Right. I can see strata managers are also a really Correct. good Definitely. market. And, you and, know, and building management. Because, yeah, building managers, yep. strata managers, property managers. So if you're that good and that different, you must have traction to prove it. Yep. What's your traction in the market? Well, we've only just, just launched the product this week. We basically wanted to build our technology out first. 
As it's a business to business product, we can't really prototype it and give it to people because we'll get one chance and we'll be thrown to the curb. So we invested really heavily to build it up to where it is. How much have you put into this business? 750 grand. Wow. You have put, let's just a moment, silence, please. <laughs> you have put $750,000 into this business. Correct. OK, well, that's serious investment. Yes. Walk me through where we're going to be in the next few years. OK, so basically we're looking at $70,000 income to finish out this financial year. 2019 financial year, we're looking at $1.5 million turnover with approximately 540 profit. Hang on, just walk through that. So 1.5 million turnover, yep. 540k profit. Correct. The assumption there is there's an average of 10 trades per office. Yep. And the way we've done those figures is 30 officers will already be on board by beginning of financial year 2019. Yep. And then we're only adding 25 officers a month. Okay, that's pretty good then. So One... we've been very conservative. It is refreshing for a company that's using a tech platform to come in and be pitching positive cash flow. Yep. Well done. Yeah, very good. Our goal is that even at this simple modelling, by the time we have 125 property management officers at that minimum, we'll be break even and cash flow positive. And when you say 125 officers, they're individual officers that you have to sell to. Correct. So it's not a lot of hard legwork to go walk in, show them what's going on and say, and we just want to sign you up. If we sign up the big organisations, we get them on board, there's no way they're changing because this is going to save them a huge amount of time. Why are you guys going to win? These are everywhere. I, I think, Steve, e everywhere. the, the main everywhere. thing you've got to understand is property managers spend 50% of their day on the phone trying to call tradespeople. Yeah, yeah, no, We're not targeting the mum and dad who want their house painted once every five no, years. No, no, this I, I is a that. constant burn for them. So they give you an app, you go, here's my job, click, and then the communication happens between the tenant and the tradie. There's calendars, they can sync, they organise it. And for 750 grand, you, you've bought that function, that, that exists, that happens right now. It happens right now. I'm curious to know how quickly you're going to get the tradies on and how you're going to, because it's only going to be as good as the quality of the tradies. Uh, we sent out a cold email to 4,000 tradespeople and we got 250 sign up within three days. So we're not worried about the tradespeople. They're so frustrated with what they've got at the moment. And if we're giving them the opportunity to work with property management officers for 50 bucks a month, how can they go wrong? So let's assume this works. You've got zero revenue, so you haven't really tested your system. Yep. You put a few transactions through and it looks like it pays and the money arrives in the right place. Yep. So we've got to test the software, we've got to support it, then we've got to sell it, yep. both sides, and both sides of the marketplace have to grow together yep. to ensure success. Because if you grow one side and I not agree. the other, you'll quickly die. So you've got all of that risk out there. Cool. So how do you then value your business at two and a half million with all that risk? Well, what we thought, I mean, and you guys are probably going to have your own opinions on this, of course. Oh, really? Uh, really? <laughs> Funnily enough, um, we looked at our first year, and what we've done is we've been really conservative. So what we said is 540 grand, it's 4.6 times multiple. The average on a software business, they reckon, is 5.7. So we thought we'll give a bit of a discount, and that's how we came up with the valuation. Yes, it's like, OK, what do we do? But Yeah, that... no, very, very refreshing, honest answer. Well done. So let's cut to the chase. What do you need from sharks? Do you need any particular sharks? Which sharks do you want? What do you need apart from money? Take the American shark. Take the American shark. He's good in America. <laughs> I think this is, this is a local play. It's not just a local play. I mean, we've already started negotiations with people overseas. So that's, that's interesting. The property management business is very efficient in the US. I'm stunned that there isn't something like this there already, but you, you know there isn't anything. Well, we've, we've researched it heavily. But I'm, I'm curious, you've got a lot of the answers, so I want to know what gaps you think you need. At the end of the day, if you think you can add value to what we're doing, that's what we want. And if you've got some connection in the US, that's a giant market that's just waiting to be eaten up. Yeah. You guys are so likeable. The, the problem with me is I can never get my head around the valuations of tech businesses. Like, Fair enough. It's just, it's just how I work. Fair enough. Okay. I'm out. No Thank worries. you. Thank you. Look, I have thoroughly enjoyed your pitch. You know your stuff. You've worked out exactly the market you're going after. Um, the only thing about this whole pitch is that it's tech. Yeah. And I have a number of tech investments, and I've got a few in the two-sided marketplace that um, just quite didn't reach those milestones. Are you in or out, Glenn? Look, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a nanny. I, I'm going to, I'm out. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Cheers, Good mate. luck.
Hey, guys, uh, uh, John Raphael, I've, I've enjoyed it. You, you're really refreshing. You've got some great answers. You're not the standard typical rot that comes out of the average tech startup, right? I do appreciate that. Thanks. Um, when I see lots and lots of pictures in the same space, I, I, I see that in artificial intelligence, I see it in blockchain, and I see it in many spaces, including this one. Yep. I don't know who's going to win. I don't know how they're going to win. Um, gonna win this mate. is not good for you guys, and I wish you all the best, but I, I just I don't know who's got the right answer here. Good luck, and I wish you all the best. Thanks, Steve. I'm out. I'm out. No worries, mate. Thank you. Is the 10% negotiable? Sure. We don't come in here with a fixed viewpoint. All right. 250,000 for 20%. That's Thanks. an offer. Thanks for your yeah. offer. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, look. I'm very tempted. Well, get on with it. I'll match Andrew's offer. Woohoo! We have two offers. Yes. 250,000, 20% from Naomi and the same from me. Would there be any way to meet in the middle at 15? No, I'm not moving. I, I can't see enough. So you'll take 15? Yep. We'll do it right now. Oh, there you go. How about 16? Just to make me feel good. <laughs> I don't work in those round though. I like straight even 15. I think it sounds a lot better, don't you? Oh, Very John. Take the 16, you muppet. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I've worked and built lots of two-sided marketplaces. 16% done. All right, this is done. There you go. Good job. Thanks, Can you mate. Can you see my face now? Cheers. Yes. Good job. Thank John. you. Glenn, well thanks, mate. I love Appreciate it, it mate. Yeah. You're thanks, having guys. too much fun. But anyway. Well, you've got to have fun. Exactly. See you out there. Thanks, guys. Thank Cheers. you. Well done. Thank you. Now we're going to do the high five. Woo! That was yeah. unco. Let's do that again. Do it again. There unco. we go. That's better. Much better. Woo! I think Raphael, I love his approach to business. He had a lot of the answers. But I think I'd have fun working with him. Yeah. Now, crowded market, you'll be all roadkill. All right, thank you very much. That's it. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Steve. That's it, roadkill. <laughs> oh.